my name is Dorian Gray, and I'm going to be showing you how to dupe weapons and armor. Now before we can dupe weapons and armor, we will have to go through a rather lengthy setup process. This setup process is what we call inventory cramming, and this only needs to be done one time per character. This means after you have successfully inventory crammed, you can dupe weapons and armor at any time. Inventory cramming is when we are exceeding the maximum carry weight that a player is able to hold. Each player is able to hold up to 10,000 units. For reference, that's about 20,000 daggers. Attempting to pick up an item that puts you over 10,000 units will cause the game to drop it back onto the floor to put you back at 10,000 units or less. This also means that if you are inventory cramming your weight to say 20,000 units, and attempt to pick up any item with weight, the game will attempt to drop that item to get back to 10,000 units. However, in doing so, the game creates multiple copies of said item in order to subtract that weight from your inventory crammed weight to get you back to 10,000 units. If that's sounding confusing, continue watching the video and you'll see how that applies to weapon and armor duping. So, Let's get started with inventory cramming. If you are connected online, I would highly suggest disconnecting from the online service and playing offline. If you get disconnected at any point during this process, you may risk having to start over. So go ahead and log out of the server. Once you're in offline mode, go ahead and lo load in your character that you want to start inventory cramming on. Inventory cramming can be done at any merchant so long as you have the bottom of the box and you have access to Framps speed menu. Our goal here is to achieve a weight limit of more than 10,000 units. This also means that you will need to have enough souls to purchase the amount of items it would take to achieve this. If you do not have the amount of souls required, you can check out either of these videos on how to get the amount of souls needed quickly. For this video, I'll be doing this process with Giant Seals from Anor Londo Giant Blacksmith. Before we head there, let's take a visit to the Undead Mill Merchant in Undead Burg to buy one dagger. This dagger is important because this will be our key tool to duping weapons and armor. I do have to note that it does not have to be a dagger. It can be any weapon or shield of your choice. I just prefer the dagger because it's easier to use. You'll need at least one dagger for this. At about 300 souls, easy to get. Once you've gotten the dagger, we'll move to An Orlando. Once you're in An Orlando, we're going to go visit the giant blacksmith. But before we do that, during this process, go ahead and dump all items with weight into your bottomless box except for the dagger. Once you're at the giant blacksmith, we're going to buy about 1,000 giant shields. And during your purchasing, if you notice, a giant shield is about 18 weight. This will put me at about 18,000 units of weight. So this is what we're going to need in order to do it. So about 1,000 giant shields again. Make sure you do have the amount of required souls needed. And again, Check out these two videos on how to get that required souls rather quickly. Once you have bought about a thousand giant shields, then you are going to meet back at Firelink Shrine to do the rest of the glitch. So we see you there. All right, now that we're at Firelink Shrine, we're going to continue on. To do this, you're going to drop your dagger and then attempt to pick it up about 10 times. Once you've done that, we're gonna go pay a visit to Framp. From here, We will feed item and feed all the giant blacksmith shields, all the giant shields, excuse me. 
So it's gonna be a quite a lengthy process. So I'm just gonna skip through this until the end result. All right, once you have finished selling all 1,000 giant shields, we're gonna go back to the dagger stack that we attempted to pick up about 10 times. Go ahead and pick it up one time. You'll see that you have a 20,000 dagger stack. Go back to the bonfire, go to your bottomless box, and into the weapons. Now this is very important. Make sure you hit the deposit all to box button, okay? Like so. If you do them one at a time like this, you'll mess up the stack and it'll revert to a normal one while at the same time giving you an extra dagger. So it's very important that we keep the stack. So make sure you with deposit all of them into your box using the deposit all button. And you're gonna repeat this process until you have as many stacks as you'd like. Now, in order to duplicate weapons and armor, you only need two stacks of these. To some people though, they like to have more reassurance just in case they mess up with the deposit all and withdraw button. And we'll put a few more stacks into your bottomless box like this. Once you get as much as you need, congratulations, you are now set up for inventory cramming and set up for weapon and armor duplication. And now, I'm gonna go ahead and get geared up again, and we're gonna show you just exactly how to weapon and armor do. Okay. Now that we're geared up and we are inventory crammed, it's time to start armor and weapon duping. Now, as I geared up, I also quit the game and reloaded. That way I can despawn any items that were dropped in the game. So, in order to duplicate a weapon or armor, that has to have weight. That means the pyromancy glove cannot be duplicated. Once you figure out what weapon you want to duplicate, in this case, let's duplicate the ghost blade. Put it in your inventory. Now, go back to the dagger stacks and put at least two 20,000 stacks in your inventory. From there, go to the weapon that you want to duplicate and drop it. Now, you're gonna attempt to pick it up one less time than the amount of copies that you want. In this case, I want three copies of the ghost blade, so I'm gonna attempt to pick it up twice. Once you've done that, go back to your bottomless box and do the deposit all on both dagger stacks like that. Once that's done, go back to the ghost blade or the weapon armor that you want to do, pick it up. Now go to another spot and drop it. Keep repeating this process until you run out of stacks or until you have the desired amount that you want. In this case, I only wanted three. We picked it up. And here we go. Now I have three ghost blades and I only had one to begin with. And that is how to dupe any weapon armor Again, it is quite a lengthy setup, but once the setup has been done, you only need to do, do it once. And once the setup has been done, you can duplicate any weapon or armor that you desire. This works for anything upgraded and infused as well. So for those of you who like maximum damage, you can make any weapon crystal infused and then just duplicate the crystal infused weapon since it has low durability, and you'll always be able to have the maximum amount of damage that you can produce. This is Dorian Gray, and I hope you enjoyed this video.